Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, first day of December, which is also the first day of Kislev, and it's Rosh Chodesh. Please remember to do all of your Rosh Chodesh editions. We're still in the middle of this uh, short little unit on how to treat Holy Svarim, uh, good Jewish books, like a Chumash, those kind of books, with uh, with the proper dignity. So today's Halacha, one of them is, if let's say you're in the middle of Shemona Esri and you see a, a Chumash or something has fallen to the ground, then you are allowed to pick it up, even in the middle of your Shemona Esri in order to give it honor, but you should try to get to the end of a bracha paragraph first and then pick up the Sefer. If you need to walk over to it, you're even allowed to walk over to it if necessary. Now when I say if necessary, what that kind of means is you only do that if it's hurting your concentration. If somehow you can manage to continue your Shemona Esri and just figure that, oh, someone else is going to pick it up real soon, and you can concentrate on your Shemona Esri, then you are allowed to continue. That's how important Shemona Esri is. When you finish learning out of a Sefer, out of a holy book, it's not appropriate to leave it open. That could cause forgetfulness in your learning. The appropriate thing to do is to close it up before you go. You could cover it over with a cloth if you want to, but you should not leave it just plain open. There are some people who cover up an open sefer with another sefer, with another holy book. But that's not really appropriate, according to Rabelsky. He says that that shames the sefer that's... The safer that's being used as a cover is not appropriate to use a safer as a cover. So he says better to um, close it or cover it with a cloth or something like that. If it's a very short time that you're going to leave it open, then that is fine. Some say no to even that. So I just want you to know that's an argument. Some say it's okay for it's just for a moment or two. And others say, nope, nope, close it up. If you're getting an aliyah, you're going to the Torah and you have a chumash open at your seat for the Torah reading. You are allowed to leave that chumash open for the continued Torah reading for when you get back to your seat. And that's not a problem. You could leave a sefer open if the sefer needs an airing out. Because let's say you got wet or something. That's appropriate because you're doing it for the honor of the sefer itself. Thanks for logging on. Have a good chodesh. And log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.